What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I am at 5.5K subscribers, 5,500 subscribers. You guys have been fantastic on my dividend investing channel. I love posting dividend stock analysis videos. I start graduate school tomorrow, my next semester, but I'm going to try to pump out you know, three to four videos a week. So make sure you uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that you won't miss future videos, make sure you smash that like button. I literally worked four out of five days. I am like so beat up, but I am so pumped up for it to start the semester and pumped up to produce more videos for you. And I want to switch it up a little bit. I really haven't done a, a video on top penny stocks that pay dividends. One of them I might buy. I'm very attracted to them. There's a dip on some of them. And I'm going to show you guys these stocks. It, they're very attractive right now, and I need to really look into them and see what I'm going to do, maybe throw them on my E-Trade dividend portfolio. So let's check these out right now. Remember, a penny stock is something that's usually less than $5. And this is one stock. It's called Highway Holdings Limited. I'll go over these guys. This P-E ratio is off the chain, 179.42. The dividend yield is 3.37. Now, again, a lot of these you want to proceed with caution. I'm not going to you know, there's one of them which I'll discuss, actually two of them that I'm looking at, and I'll explain to you why I may buy them. But, you know, there's a huge risk. That's a high P.E. ratio, volume of 13, 113.15. The year range is 243 to 582. Dividend yields attractive. But what are these guys about? What makes these guys a penny stock to buy? Penny stocks are a huge risk. I'm just going to go over that real quick with you. You know, they could fall apart. There's no guarantees with this one. I like stability, but sometimes it's fun to switch things up. Maybe buy the dip and then sell it for dividend stocks, you know, that you own. You know, that's something that you some things that you can do with penny stocks, but these are <laughs> these are attractive. I know I know this PE ratio is off the chain, but let me show you what these guys are about. So this is founded in 1990. They're listed on the NASDAQ since 1996 under the training symbol Hi-Ho. There's actually a, a Hi-Ho brewery in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. I've been there before, but anyways. Um, so this is a manufacturer of various components, uh, some assemblies of products and multinational um, companies. Multifacturing services include office machines, white goods, home appliances, lighting products, stepping motors, LED lights, and electronic circuits. Operators in Hong Kong, Lua Hua, China, and most recently in Yangon, Myanmar. I can't even say that. So their f facilities compromise approximately 135,000 60,000 square feet, respectively. Okay. So, you know, they take pride, pride in their business and stuff. But see their products. So, you know, they have here some electronics that they go over. Uh, stamping part. Okay, so they got stamping parts. So these are things in need. Plastic parts. Okay. Insert molding. Okay. So these are some products they make. Assembly. That's not even showing. Uh, here's sub-assembly. So there's some things that they have. Now, how much revenue are they generating? We need to see if these guys are the real deal. Let's check that out. Now, no wonder why the P.E. ratio is sky high. Look at the revenue, the changes. There's a decrease over time. Now, you can blame the pandemic, you know, right here and here. But keep an eye on this one. I mean, this one, it has decreased over time. But keep an eye on it. You know, there could be a rebound. I, myself, would not I kind of avoid this. But this is a very popular one that people own and very much praise in social media about owning i'd hold back a little bit let's check its dividend history okay so you're noticing a trend it was three cents four cents five cents ten cents six cents there's a little bit of a decrease in the dividends the dividend yield is four four point four three percent the pe ratio is sky high so those raise some red flags but you know if you're trying to get maybe some, some income but you may decrease in price per share and decrease the um dividend distribution it is a quarterly dividend stock it's only 415 4.43 percent i mean they're still going to make money it's just not the most attractive me eh, people really like this one I, I you know i looked into many polls and, and uh, forums and people just really praise this one i'm going to back off on that but that's just one you want to look into if you want to take a risk 
that's fine but I'd, I'd avoid that one a little bit that's just me uh, let's check to the uh, next dividend stock. Then the next one is Invesco Mortgage Capital. A lot of people really praise IVR. It is a penny stock status. If you look at it in the past year, it went. It was way. You know, it was 384. And at its peak, it was 16, 14, 16, 17. So this is something that you can capitalize on with a dip. It was 15 dollars. It's three dollars and nine cents. Pandemic card, excuse me, that the pandemic, you can maybe make an argument that pandemic was a big issue. It's $3.09. I'm actually considering throwing this in my E-Trade dividend portfolio, seeing if I can make anything from a dip uh, or sell it, you know, if it goes back up or just follow the dividends and follow the money. The P-E ratio is 4.47%. The dividend yield is 11065 Mortgage, mortgage-backed rates, you know, I'm always careful with these. Market cap is 895.11 million US dollars. A year range is 253 to 460. Again, the mortgage backed rates took a huge blow. Um, Arbor Realty Trust is a very strong one. Are these guys really strong? Let's see what these guys are about. So Invesco Mortgage Capital is an independent mortgage real estate investment trust company. It has offices in Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia and Louisville, Kentucky. The company is listed in NYSE as a symbol IVR as a mortgage real estate investment trust company. They seek to deliver incremental investment value to shareholders by using their notable expertise and distinctive resources to pursue a high level of con continual income derived from real estate related investments. I wonder why they get, took a big blow with the pandemic. It acquires finances and manages residential and commercial mortgage-backed securities and mortgage loans within the real estate-related investment realm. It is externally managed and advised by Invesco Advisors, a leading independent uh, in global investment management company. Okay, big talk. Are they walking? Let's check how much money they're making. So this is what makes these guys interesting. You see a little bit of a dive, 2014, 2015, 2016, it's up, 2017, it's up, 2018, it's up, 2019, it's up, 2020, nose dive. So financially, it was up, it was starting to get strong, and it's very cheap. Its revenue is down. Obviously, it's related to the pandemic, but it was making some improvements. Its revenue was increasing. P.E. ratio is not bad. It has a high dividend yield. And what's its dividend history? Let's check that out. And see, this is what makes this a stock because it's so down. I'm actually going to buy it, maybe sell it for the dip. Um, I may do that tomorrow because look at its dividend history. It's increasing. It's slowly going back up. $0.08, cents, $0.09. Cents. Quarterly dividend stock. P.E. ratio 4.48. A dividend yield of $11.84. $3.09. That's a deal. Annual dividend is $0.36. Cents. I could sell this. And throw it into another stock if it goes well. So this one's actually on my radar. Again, none of this is financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes. There's a disclaimer in the description. But this is one I'm really looking at. I'm kind of attracted because of the dip. Maybe we'll sell it and throw it into another dividend stock. So that's one thing that is on my mind. Maybe I'll just hold it. Because if it goes all the way up and it keeps on going up, hey, it's increasing its uh, dividend. Why not? It was increasing its revenue. I mean, it was doing something right, but the pandemic got in the way. So let's jump to the next dividend stock. And this is Presidio, uh, hopefully I said it right, Property Trust. This is a real estate investment trust that is, it has 11.33% dividend yield. Why is that? I'll explain to you in a second and I'll reveal to you. Its year range was 263 to 1024. Stay range was 355 to 369. Very attractive dividend stock. Its volume was 276.03K. Who are these guys? We need to look into this. A real estate investment trust that's way down? What? We got to be careful. Let's look into this. So this trust was founded at, as a net rate in 1999 as a contrarian real estate investor focused on out of the mainstream properties, mainly in locations largely ignored by institutional investors. We have successfully found hidden value acquiring properties at attractive prices, resulting in unique seller circumstances, and then implementing an aggressive business plan. So they're 
Portfolio has been diverse, consisting of office, retail, industrial, self-storage, and residential properties. We strategically pursued strong opportunities regardless of property type. We now refine our portfolio through calculated dispositions to focus primarily on multi-tenant office. Okay. Let's see what they got. They got commercial properties. Here's one of them in Denver, Colorado, Grand Pacific Center, Genesis Plaza, Uniontown Center. So they do have some acquisitions to make it somewhat attractive industrial they're a little well diversified next they have next they have residential properties so they own residential properties and they seem well diversified they're pretty small so let's check these guys out real quick revenue wise and how they're doing a few things i just want to go over this real quick with simply wall street so the trading is below its estimated fair value the revenue forecast ex is expected to grow 9.24% uh, per year. Dividend is 11.33, not well covered by earnings. Volatile share price over the past three months does not have a meaningful market cap. But here's a few things. I mean, this is like the absolute worst timing for these guys too. Revenue's down, everything's down. Pandemic, September, December. Revenue's down, everything's down. March, 5.67 is down. So this is a risk, okay? Revenue is down, net profit margin, net income. Things are starting to go around, starting to rebound, okay? They're starting to maybe make a comeback. I'll show you that's dividend history. Like I said, the worst timing, I mean, it's slowly, it's at $3.60. Dividend yields 11.21%, annual dividend 0.40%. So there's a big risk with this one. Um, I'm going to still keep an eye on it. I mean, the, their acquisitions and what they try doing. And but be, again, with penny stocks, you have to be extra careful. You need to know what you're going into. And this is why I'm doing this, because people really like these dividend stocks. I, uh, I'm considering maybe looking at this one because it's so down and just taking a risk because eventually things will get better. And it just, it, it's right, it's just started distributing dividends. It's just like the worst timing getting into the market during a pandemic. I mean, that that just sucks. Just huge total nosedive. Uh, is it me? I am considering maybe throwing $100 in it, seeing what happens. It's it's a huge, I, again, it's a huge risk. This This one is a big one compared to IVR. Major risk. I mean, can I get lucky? Maybe. You know, it, it is distributing a dividend. Um, yeah, I I may. I, I may. I, I have to really think about it. Um, I, I, I've tempted to actually take a risk and see what happens with these guys. Uh, but um, IVR is the one I'm looking at right now compared to this one. Uh, again, it's a real estate investment trust. You got to give these guys kudos for standing strong in the pandemic, um, but man, it, it, these guys took a beating. So let's jump to the next dividend stock. On Sacum Capital Corp, this is a very interesting one that I looked into. A 10.34% dividend yield. Careful, PE ratio 11.50%. You these these things you have to be very careful with, but these are attractive right now because of what's going on with the, the pandemic and the nosedive. The year range is 337 to 568. I'll show you what these guys are about. So again, this is another mortgage back rate. They're trusted and reputable in real estate investments. They're, connect, they're Connecticut uh, based real estate finance company that specializes in originating, servicing and managing portfolio of its mortgage loans. So you have to be very careful with these. Let's see what how they're doing revenue wise because mortgage mortgage back rates to be very careful again ivr these guys they're cheap they're a reason why they're cheap you have to be very careful so let's jump to its re revenue okay so here's one thing that's very attractive one two four six eleven twelve eighteen they're up they're way up so they're jumping up so financially they seem like they're they know what they're doing and that's one thing that's attractive about these guys. They're actually jumping up. So some of them, you know, again, penny stocks you got to be careful with. Let's check their dividend history.
So again, anything that's less than $5 is considered a penny stock. And guess what? This is 464, Sacum Capital Corp, common shares. 5 cents, 10 cents, 11, 12, 17, 12, 12, 12. It's consistent with 12 cents. Boy, I wish I had 17 cents on that. But it's been going up. Dividend yields 9.98%, PE ratio 11.32, annual dividend of 48 cents. It's increasing its revenue and it's increasing its uh, dividend. So that's one thing that's attractive. Again, proceed with caution with all of these. I have one more for you. Western Asset Mortgage Capital Corp. Take a guess. It's a mortgage back rate, PE ratio 4.48. Market cap, $170.28 million US dollars. It's one that's not going to jump up like crazy. And it's way down. Took a nosedive. Okay, who are these guys about? These guys are diversified mortgage finance rate that is externally managed by Western Asset Management Company, a leading fixed income manager with global investment capabilities and infrastructure. So total economic return for shareholders by... Con generating consistent and sustainable core earnings that support an attractive dividend while maintaining rel relatively stable book value. Okay, so let's see how much revenue they're making. This is what sucks with these guys. They're doing well, and they went down 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Ouch. Ouch. But... This is one to just keep an eye on. They're way down. <laughs> I, I mean, all of these are a risk. You can tell that I'm. it's hard for me to try to you know, say that these are top penny stocks that distribute dividends, but some of them are attractive, and I'm explaining to you why, IVR especially. WMC is one just to keep an eye on. I'm going to show you its dividend history. As you can tell, it took a nosedive. Now, these ones are risky. Again, you got to watch the P.E. ratio. They're decreasing their price per share. They were improving 8.63% dividend yield. It's slowly going up. Annual dividend, 24 cents. So, and it's 280. So all of these dividend stocks that I mentioned are a huge risk. And you have to very much proceed with caution. You have to do some serious digging in penny stocks. Again, penny stocks are less than $5. And there re uh, is a reason why they're a penny stock. I know I'm like half awake, like doing this video, but I'm just explaining to you, like, this is one that you guys really wanted me to look into and discuss with penny stocks that are um, distributing dividends. Proceed with caution. I'm telling you, make sure you do some serious digging there's potential that you can lose money. I myself, I would only, I'm considering throwing maybe a hundred in one of these that I find very, that I feel confident in doing some digging. I'm looking at IVR as a risk. A um, hundred dollars is not a big deal, but um, it, be extremely cautious with these dividend stocks, especially penny stocks. So, this is something that it, it it was painful to even do this video, but you guys wanted me to do this. There are very attractive penny stocks that distribute dividends. When you see a high dividend yield, as I always tell you guys, 5% or above, be careful. Are they really worth it? What is so special about these guys? That's things that you need to ask. Are they in demand? Okay. Are they in demand? Because these things can just fall apart right away. So you have to be very careful with these. But these are some top ones because they're down. They do have a high dividend yield, but they have in, their revenue has been consistent. Uh, the pandemic has really hit these guys hard. But I just want you guys to be extremely careful with buying dividend stocks that have high dividend yields and are penny stocks. So you guys... I will post a video tomorrow. I wanted to switch this up real quick. You guys were really asking me, what are some really good penny stocks to buy? And, the, and I'm just telling you, this is this is what I looked at for you guys. I'm telling you, there's a huge risk. I myself, I probably one or two I would buy, and I would not throw a lot. I'm maybe going to throw 100 in IVR tomorrow. I haven't decided on that yet, but um, there's just a huge risk. So you guys take care, have a great Sunday, and be safe out there.